Hello everyone, welcome to globallytrading.com. In this video, we will look at the sequence command. The sequence command is SEQ. So in order to display the numbers from say 1 through 5, all you have to do is pass the number 5 to the command as a first argument and it will display numbers 1 through 5. And say for example you want to display numbers from say 10 to 20 all you have to do is do sequence seq 10 20 and that will display the numbers from 10 through 20. Let us uh, look at another example where you want to display numbers from 1 through 10 but increments of 10 I mean to say 1 through 100 with increments of 10 so the command would be something like this saq 1 increment is 10 and we'll end at 100 so when you hit enter it's going 1 through 91 because it's starting at 1 then incrementing it by 10 so 1 plus 10 is 11 11 plus 10 is 21 21 plus 10 is 31 and so on say you want to print 10 20 30 all the way through 100 you would do something like this sequence we'll start at 10 increment it by 10 and we'll go all the way through 100 so sequence space 10 space 10 space 100 and you get 100. There are a few uh, uh, formatting things that you could do. Say for example, you want to introduce some sort of a delimiter or a separator between these numbers, you could do that. I mean, the command allows you to do that. Say, let me pull this statement back and the separator, the switch or the option is minus S and you put comma there. So what this does is it will print number comma the number you can use other separators as well depending on your project needs say for example you want say pipe what you can do is instead of comma all you do is enter pipe now pipe has a special meaning in linux so pipe almost accepts the output from the left side command and passes it to the right side command but we don't want to use it as a standard pipe so we need to escape it so for that we use backward slash and when you do that now the separator is a pipe i mean not just that you can also do you know colon see you can, now we have colons between all these numbers so depending on your project need you know you can do that now let us uh, look at the format command and option F for the sequence command. So what this does is it allows you to uh, format the output of the text or the numbers in this case. So the sequence command sequence uh, 1 to 10. So it printed 10. Let's say if I do 1 to 20, as you can see, the first nine numbers have one number in them it's a one numeric character and then you have from 10 through 20 you have two uh, characters in them so in order for us to pad the first nine numbers with a zero on the left hand side to make it equal length in terms of number of characters uh, you know we would use the formatting option so this is how we do it so sequence and then we do minus f we want to format percentage sign 0 to G so this would actually put um, you know zeros on the left hand side and this comes uh, real handy depending on the project you do because you don't have to manually edit because you know you can simply generate it for whatever reason you want three it's very simple how you do is that it puts zeros appropriately based on the number or the numeric value and it pads it now um, you know we have seen printing I mean to say display numbers 
uh, sequence and using increments and uh, you can also go go from um, from number n1 to n2 you can do all that but what is the practical application so where can we use this i mean this comes real handy depending on you know you're a programmer or a tester or or a system administrator you know this comes real handy say for example let me show you, you know, a couple of examples say for example you want to create uh, let's see what i have in this directory let's say i want to create 100 files or for that matter 10000 files you know we can do that real quickly with this particular uh, sequence command so what you do is let's say touch say file we call it my file if i do this touch my file.txt enter all i have is one file my file and if i were to do uh, my file one and then do my file two dot txt hit enter you know that would get you know two or three files but you know this is a slower process if you are trying to do some sort of testing or you want to try to create or simulate a scenario so what you would do is say for example in this case we would create 100 files touch and then all you do is this is a bash by the way bash shell dollar sign and we are uh, starting brackets and then this is where you would enter the sequence command it will be sequence sequence and then we could do one to hundred so technically what this will do is it would create a file called one then file called two all the way to file called hundred but we want names to be more user friendly for that we will use formatting this is where it comes real handy say we want to name our files in such a way that it's more user friendly we'll call it my file <coughs> dash percentage we'll put zero three so we want the number to be three numerical lines so it will pad zeros appropriately and we want to do txt so what this does is you know it would um, start the numbers from one through hundred but as it is printing it out it would do my file dash it since it said zero three it would be zero zero one dot txt zero zero two dot txt all the way through hundred dot txt so hit enter looks like uh, there is some syntax error let me take a look at it okay we are missing g here and hit enter and we are done as you see it just took for us to hit the enter and ls we have 100 files and say you want to generate thousand files all you have to do is increment the number here let's do for 500 it's done you have 500 files so that's the beauty of the sequence command once you start using it, it comes real handy now this is an example right we we created these files now let me show you another practical example let's say you want to generate a file with 25,000 lines in it so rather than you know trying to do ps minus ef and repeatedly appending to your file to get to that file get to that you know number of lines that you need in a file instead of that all you do is sequence you want to go from 1 to 25000 and send it to you know what let me clear these files here okay sequence 1 through 25000 send it to my file underscore 25k lines.txt it's done you have a file which is approximately 136k and it says um, 25,000 lines 
that's it in this video guys we looked at sequence command we were able to display numbers um, straight from one number to another number um, then we uh, were able to use incrementer so to increment the numbers we also used separator and also formatting and then we used the command with all these techniques to apply it to create you know desired number of files like in a second like we created 500 files and we were also able to generate a file with 25,000 lines in it within a second well i hope you all enjoyed and learned something see you in the next video